hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your first time here thank you so much for being here do not forget to like subscribe share comment today we're making something easy something good for the weather because as we all know it's the most beautiful time of the year i love fall mostly because i love soup <laughs> and today i'm making one of my favorite soup which is butternut squash soup the first thing you need to do is preheat your oven of 400 degrees Depending on what kind of oven you have and how hot it gets, I would just say do 400. Some people do 425, but I would suggest do 400, yes. And then the next thing you need to do is cut up your butternut squash. They are not easy to cut, especially if you don't have a good knife scale. So if you can get an already cut one in a grocery store, please go for it. And then we're going to season with olive oil, black pepper, salt, and we are also going to use a fresh string of rosemary just for flavor um as you can see and then we're going to mix all this together and put it in the oven on 400 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes make sure you keep checking on this because you do not want it to burn if it does then it's a whole disaster right here <laughs> the next thing we need to do is put our pot on the stove and um, put a little bit of olive oil in there and then add a chopped finely chopped sweet onions and i am using sweet onions because i like the sweetness it gives the soup um and because it's my preference really you could use yellow or white whatever you have i would not suggest you use red though we're going to saute that for about two minutes or until it becomes a bit transparent on low to medium heat because we want to cook everything slowly and we do not want anything to burn and then we're going to add our garlic i'm adding my garlic after because garlic cook really fast and they tend to burn really fast also so you do not want them burning like i said nothing should burn in this recipe because it's soup and you could definitely taste the the bitterness once it once one thing is burnt um now we're going to saute that for about two minutes again and then we're going to add our other spice so i am adding cayenne pepper for heat this is a preference you do not have to use cayenne pepper if you don't like spicy um, because i just want heat and that's why i'm using cayenne pepper and then i'm going to add some black pepper and some ginger powder i am adding all this now and not later um because it kind of gives it more flavor letting that fry a little bit before adding your broth and coconut milk or whatever cream you want to use um i am sauteing that for a little bit and then adding um my ginger powder like i said my cayenne pepper my black pepper and i am not adding salt yet why because i am going to add my broth and i'm also going to add my squash in there be then blended and i don't want it to be over seasoned um or too salty because we all know that salt can easily ruin everything for you so i'm gonna add salt much later if i feel the need to or if i taste it and i need salt um now i'm adding my chicken stock and i made that chicken stock from scratch feel free to use vegetable broth if you're vegan or vegetarian and now i'm adding coconut milk um i am using coconut to kind of thin it out a little bit and to kind of give it a better color instead of a very deep orangey kind of color it's more like a lighter yellow kind of color um that's why i'm using coconut milk and also because i'm lactose intolerant but definitely feel free to use um heavy cream or sour cream or whatever you prefer and i'm gonna cover that and let that boil for about five minutes and then take my butternut squash out of the oven and then put it in the whole um um broth and whatever i'm cooking right now and i'm, I'm gonna let that cook for about five minutes or until it's really tender and soft because then i'm gonna move that into my blender and kind of puree it until it's smooth now it's very tender and as you can tell there are little black pieces in that um because i wasn't watching or looking at my um my squash in the oven and they got a little bunt so i did not blend those um and then i poured everything into the blender and i blended it until it was smooth and then i tasted it to see if i needed a little bit of salt a little bit of whatever i felt like i needed um because i don't want to over salt it from the beginning and then when i tasted it it was amazing i didn't need to add anything which was great if you find out that yours is not as sweet or as tasty as you want it to be got a little bit of salt or a little bit of broth or whatever you want to add to it if you find out that it's too thick for your preference you can also thin it out with more broth or water um, i blended this until smooth and some people like to add brown sugar or maple syrup i like i like my soup more towards the spicy side than the sweet side um this was it it was really tasty and i absolutely loved it i hope you guys do also if you like this recipe please do not forget to give me a thumbs up a like a comment thank you guys so much have a great weekend and stay warm
Bye.